Okay, so here we are with Minecraft Alpha 1.2.1. Um, gonna take a look at a world I was messing around with. This is a little outpost. It's got a very expansive uh, mine below it. But we're gonna go take a look at my castle. I dove back into the side of a mountain and then my beach base. Okay, this is a little kind of a plateau I built, uh, just terracing off the landscape a little bit. This is a tunnel entrance to my castle. As you can see, it's a very long tunnel. Took me a while to get it dug out. Wasn't using an inventory editor or hardly any mods at this stage when I built all this. This is kind of actually uh, one of the first worlds I started working on when I originally purchased the game and began playing. If you pay attention, you can actually look down this hallway and see the window in the door at the very end. Kind of a nice little view. This is the upper floor of my little castle area that I built here in the end of the mountainside. As you can see from the mini map on the right, it's kind of a little big. Got a nice crafting area, plenty of storage, access on both sides to the outside, stairway down in the middle, to the left over there is furnaces. There's another exit from the upper floor right there, of course back down the hallway. Let's go outside and take a look at the terrace first. So that over there, that big rectangle, is a, uh, I guess, a, a giant swimming pool I was working on that I never got finished. I uh, never actually got a full actual wall up and working. It was just kind of makeshift dirt, work with what I had. Uh, most of the rock I dug out of the mountainside I built this with. Uh, tower I never finished right there. Of course, that's my front yard. The dirt wall goes all the way up. 
that huge terrace right there in the center actually has a big room underneath it. I was going to do some indoor farming underneath the ground there. I never got around to doing that. You know, I could almost swear I had done more work on that tower. I must have lost a, a game save or something. So this is my actual first floor. What I just showed you was the second floor terrace. The uh, second floor of the castle actually is the third floor because I have really high ceilings right here in the first floor. As you could tell also the second floor terrace also is the roof of the first floor. So there is my kitchen area, storage on both sides, row of furnaces. Got me a nice fireplace built in for lighting and looks. Over here would be my main crafting station. Got a clock there. Main storage area. Main entryway. All the way down there leads to the gardens. And that's the main view from the garden. As you can see, everything's terraced out with platforms, decks you can walk around on. Plenty of space to run when you have monsters to tur turned on and don't have everything closed up tight yet. Um, 
Got to have plenty of places to duck and run and attack around. So, there you go. That's my little fort here built into the mountainside. Ah, yes, dirt storage. There is also a pit over here in my garden area. Um, just kind of like made my way down, put torches in it, never did anything else with it yet. Ah uh, yes, unrepaired damage from creepers. Mm, very nice. Hate them. Well, let's go take a look at what uh, this world has to offer on my beach base. Uh, this would be the hell portal um, kinda weird uh, it is a hell portal that spawned here on in the real world because I built one in hell so this is where I came out it was kind of the distance travel ratio thing I was kinda trying to figure out how many blocks equaled how many blocks so and that's what I came up with. Of course, it looks weird because the texture pack I'm using at the time was not MC patched, so. Well, that's it for this video. More in part two.